What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron and Wyvern form back again today with more dark and light on my Patreon server. And I just want to thank you all so very much for your support in the prior episode. If you like this one, do not forget to annihilate that like button and subscribe for more content. So today, guys, we're going to be taming something big. We're going to tame something dangerous. We're going to tame ourselves a kitty cat. A kitty cat. So I've got myself some stuff to do that. I've got 50 stone hook arrows. Hopefully that's enough. I've um, got some more arrows with me. If not, uh, I don't have any charcoal, though. But uh, there's a couple of starter bases down there of mine. Um, well, it was just my buddies and mine um, with charcoal in it. So if I need more, I can get more from there. I've also crafted up uh, 28 bursting arrows. So that'll be kind of interesting to play with as well. Uh, if it comes down to it. But now because there's not a spyglass in this game, I don't know what level this kitty cat was. That I was just down here. So, I'm in wyvern form, so I can fly away when it starts to attack me, but the plan is to see what level it is, and then kind of play it by ear as we try to tame it, like try to come up with some sort of plan to try to tame it. Well, here's a kitty cat, and it doesn't want anything to do with me right now. What level are you? Ouch. This is level 16. Although it is kicking my butt, I don't want a, level, a low level kitty cat. I'd much rather have a higher level kitty cat. One that could possibly keep up with the amount of damage I do in cat form. So we're going to keep looking. Hopefully find the kitty cat of our dreams, basically. A Deathstalker, we would not want to fight on foot, is what I'm looking to tame. Some elite goblins down there. And we've got a boar. And another boar. Some wyvern. We got some co kodu things. Co I'm not sure what they're called. It says. The saddle says Kodo, but it's like Co Cody or Co Co Kodu. In the game, I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. Some of the names for the recipes to craft things in the game are labeled completely different once you actually craft them. For reasons, I'm sure. There's some reason as to why that would be a thing. Why are there never any kitty cats when I want to tame a kitty cat? Oh, a little bit of framing we're loading in a new zone. Uh, stop it. There we go. It's done loading. We're about out of stamina as well. So we'll land here. Get some stamina back. Let's go about our surroundings. I'm surprised there's not more cats everywhere. Usually there's cats like all over the place. Very interesting. So I'm wearing some of the armor that I got yesterday from the uh, the darkness event or whatever it's called when the when the minions of the darkness attack you, which is pretty cool. It's leather. I got a leather headpiece and leather chest piece that offer more armor. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so it was time for Wyvern form to end there. Um, they got more armor than uh, the copper pieces. So that's cool. Let's switch to the menu so I can eat some stuff. Need more, more apples. Come on, give me apples. Apples are what I want. I don't really want anything else. Ugh, framey. Frametastic framiness. What level are you, guy? Time to bust out the ban hammer. Ban! Two hundred and seventy damage, not bad. Let's heal up a little bit. So I would take one of these hyena things as well. If it was a good level. That's a level twelve, that is not a good enough level. A vulture deal. We're gonna need some meat. Let's harvest these guys for meat. What level is this vulture deal? 48? I'm not really... Not really, uh... Concerned with taming that as well. I want something high-ish level. 32? Fan hammer. Pants broke and so do my gloves. It's unfortunate that I've been able not been able to find anything like worth taming. I did tame another one of these off camera, though the grunt stags, and that's just because um, using them basically just to collect grass and berries. It's all they're really good for now. What post nerf? They were really powerful. Had a ton of health, ran really fast, had a ton of weight, did a fair amount of damage. Now they're just kind of they just kind of suck, so. And they're not that easy to tame, either. Because they run just as fast as you do in a full sprint. And you can't shoot when you're going full sprint with your bow, so... Incredibly difficult to tame. You have to, like, wait for them to get stuck on something and then... Shoot them a bunch and then... Make them get unstuck on whatever it was they were stuck on. So then they break the tethers and pass out. Come on now. There'll be something worth taming. There'll be something worth taming somewhere. Alright, well I'm going to uh I'm gonna look for something good to tame and then uh we'll be our beast. Alright guys, we're back and I'm chasing down a, a kitty cat. Not sure what level it is. It's probably gonna be a bad idea. Switch, let's heal. Oh god. Heal.
I'm dead. It's level 88. So, that's the thing. Um, here is close to where I died. Oh yeah, a lot of this base has been destroyed too. There's what's left of Lane's base from yesterday. All right, I'm gonna go get my stuff back, and uh, we'll we'll be our bees. All right, I got my stuff back. I see the cat in the woods up there. I'm hoping that this is something where I can kind of snipe at it a couple of times before it gets to me. But I don't have a whole bunch of arrows to waste. attacking. I oh, sure hope it doesn't die. No, that's not what I wanted to... Oh my... And it's not the button that I pushed, game. Not the button that I pushed at all. Ugh. Ugh. Game. Come on. Okay, the server lag, then that died because of the server lag that time. That's cool. That's cool. No problem. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. BRBs. All right, peeps, we're back. And I knocked out a hyena. Level 96. It's not a kitty cat, but it's something that I could actually tame. So, kitty cat's probably going to be a two person tame. And it's just not something that I can do right now by myself, especially. It looks like this thing is going to take a little bit of time to tame up. So we're going to let this guy tame up. We're going to get him back to base. Make a saddle for him. And then, uh... Watch out so the kitties don't attack me. And then, um... Once that is all said and done, we'll take the hyena out. And, uh, see what it can do. So, a lot of cutting in this episode. A lot of farting around. A lot of dying. A lot of dying. A lot of dying, for, for sure. Um, but it's it's for the best, I think. I think it's for the best. So we'll be our bees again once this uh, once this um, puppers is all it's all good to go. All right, peeps, we are back. We've got Puppertron here, and uh, you got to saddle on Puppertron. I'm gonna check out his stats. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, has 672 health. It does about 35 damage per bite, so kind of disappointing in the damage department. Um, but can it? It can. Can it fit inside these built this building? Okay, so Puppertron can fit inside the building, kind of like Spoodertron can. So like, it doesn't make any sense why Spoodertron can. So let's hop on the Spoodertron here. Hop on the Spoodertron here. Just like that. Light lady is fighting something down there. So look, look at this. This is like this is hilarious. Nope. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Oh, light lady died. Makes no sense as to why Spoodertron can fit inside the base, but it can. So whatever. Um. So also, um, the last time I cut when we were taming Puppertron. And now, in between that time, I had my stream. And if you guys haven't checked me out on Twitch yet, you're missing out. So twitch.tv slash Morbtron is where you can find me on Twitch. Um, I was joined by Lane. He's actually still on the channel. I'm just muted. 
so I can't hear anything that he's saying and he can't hear me. Um, and that's just so I can continue my episode here, but we did manage to tame something pretty cool. Let's get some meat. Let's get this meat too. Okay, there we go. I like meat. Meat is tasty. It gives me food. Um, we tamed a panther. Here we are. Here's Kittytron. So, I had the panther saddle. Oh, oh framey. Framiness. Random framiness is bad. Okay. So, I had the saddle for a panther from the darkness event from yesterday's episode. Um, which got me a lot of cool stuff, actually. So, that's pretty neato. But, we look in Kittytron's stats here. He's got, Kittytron's got a ton of meat. Kittytron can gather like a boss. Um, but Kittytron has 1,800 health, 251.9% attack of whatever kitty damage is. Um, it's got 1,000 weight, and the rest of those stats really don't matter. Um, Kittytron is a beast. So we're going to go down here. We're going to check this stuff out. I'm um, not sure if there was a... Reaper or something down here just now. Um, we'll see if we can find any remains of a Reaper. The possibility of getting its scythe. Really, really want a Reaper scythe bad. Because they do a ton, a ton of damage. Okay, a little bit of framiness. But no, doesn't look like there's any remains. I mean, I could scour some more, but it's getting dark. So, but Kittytron has two attacks. So you have the regular left click, which is just like, nom, 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 nom. And then Kittytron has this attack, which is right click. So the very big paw slap, which is usually what you die to when you run into a panther. Uh, so we're going to take on a light lady. We're going to see how much damage we do. So, 88 damage. Rather quickly there. You see, we do 100 damage with the power attack. We're taking on a Treant and a Light Lady at the same time. There's the Treant. And there is the Light Lady. Amazing. Amazing how much damage these can do. And a carryover from Ark. Oh, wrong inventory screen. Here's a correct inventory screen. I just highlight that. Like I'm going to highlight that stack of meat there. I do have a click macro on my mouse that can click my left click button a couple times a second. And this is the only reason that I have that. So I can force feed carnivores meat. And I did that in Ark, and that's how I healed up a bunch of like T-Rexes and stuff during big fights against alphas and bosses and things like that. But it carried over into this game without that nerf that wild card set into their game. Set into Ark um, to where there's a cooldown on force feeding. There's no cooldown on force feeding in this game, so at least for the time being. So devs, please don't nerf that. Please don't. Um, yeah, get, your, get yourself a panther. And the way that we did it, and like I said, we did it on stream. So I don't have non-stream footage, and unfortunately I had some copyright music playing on Twitch while I was streaming it, so I can't really clip it and put it into this video without having no music, or without having no sound then having to put some music back over it, and then voice line over it, and it's, it would just be like a five second clip of how we did it anyway. So I'll just explain it. So this kitty, this panther, was was in this area. So really close to my base. And all Lane did, like I was standing right up here. Right up here. In this exact spot. And Lane kite the, would kite the cat to right here. And, like, see how the cat can't get up? Um, they can go up a lot farther than a person can up a cliff, but... Um, so he, he'd kite it over here, and then he used a 
Rune of Recall to teleport back to the uh, Elven home, like, home city, which is just right across the lake there. Um, and then I just pegged it with about 35 or so Stonehook arrows, and that was the end of that. And we ended up taming it. It did take a long time for it to tame. It probably took about 20 minutes or so, I want to say, for it to tame up. But, um, tamed up really well. And the saddle that I had for it from the Darkness event is a little bit better. than It's still a common quality, but it has 37.4 armor. But it has a little bit more armor than just a regular run-of-the-mill saddle that you can make. So that's nice. Um, so Kitty Tron can take on a couple... A couple other kitties at the same time, and live to tell about it. I've actually done it a couple times. Um, and actually over here, Lane is in the process of taming up a level 108 cat. That we kind of did the same method with, except this time I just kited it back with a kitty cat. And got out of there really quick, because the cat is fast. And then the 108 cat got stuck on a cliff, and then we just shot it in the face with arrows, and it went to sleep. Um, but yeah... That is going to be the end of this episode, guys. So we managed to tame the thing we wanted to tame. Just unfortunately not on the camera. Um, and if you weren't watching the stream, you missed out on it. So don't miss out on my streams is all I got to say. You know, nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Wink, wink. I think wink, wink. Wink, wink works. Um, like I said, it's twitch.tv slash morbtron. But guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. So if you liked it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time. Leap.